What's up everybody, my name is Dwight and welcome back to GeForce Garage. Asa Butterfield is most known for his lead roles in movies like Hugo and Ender's Game, and most recently the Netflix original series Sex Education. When he isn't busy acting, he also competes in professional esports tournaments as a member of Panda Global. We brought him into the office today to reveal the custom gaming rig we built for him based off of the classic anime Neon Genesis Evangelion. What's up guys, Asa Butterfield. Um, you might know me from your TV or your cinema, but I'm not just an actor, I also play a lot of games. I play a lot of Smash. It's probably the game I play the most competitively. Ultimate that is, I'm crap at melee. I wish I was good, but that game's too hard. My first foray into PC gaming was StarCraft. I like my competitive games. I like my RPGs, like Divinity Original Sin 2, which is a fantastic game. Shooters, I've been playing the new Call of Duty. It's been a while since I've played a COD game, so it's nice to get back into it. My current PC, it's pretty good. It still, it still runs games reasonably well, but you know, the newer games, it struggles a bit with. So that's why we're here. And I'm very excited because NVIDIA have something special for me and it's gonna be cool. When asked if there was a possible theme that we could base the design on, Asa mentioned that he was a huge sci-fi fan, but there wasn't really anything that stood out as something he'd want on his computer. That was until we started talking about Neon Genesis Evangelion. It turns out that it's his favorite anime of all time and the main protagonist, Shinji Ikari, just resonates with him. Armed with this knowledge, we came up with a possible concept based on Shinji's bodysuit. While Asa admitted it captured the essence of Shinji, it just wasn't what he was really looking for and suggested something maybe with a darker color palette, perhaps inspired by one of the Avas. This time we decided to pose a challenge to the one and only Jesse Palacio of JP Modified, who makes some of the incredible color coordinated builds based on themes like the Joker and the Galactic Empire. And he definitely didn't disappoint. Let's hear from him to learn more about the Ava inspired gaming rig. I was tasked by NVIDIA to build a PC that had the Evangelion theme in it, which was the EVA-00. So I went ahead and drew some inspiration on a specific action figure that I saw online. The main task was to just copy the colors and some of the paneling on the specific action figure that we were looking at. Seeing that this PC was going to be an active PC, not a display PC, we wanted to make sure that the modifications were light and easy to work with. So all we did was just add some acrylic custom panels for an aesthetic look instead of reconfiguring the form and function of the SL600. So we laser cut some custom acrylic panels according to what I saw on the action figure that we looked at and also added a few touches of our own to make it a little bit more personalized and have a JP modified touch to it. We were really happy with what came out and I'm sure that it would look good on a gaming setup. Now in this build, we used an Intel i7-9700K for the processor, a GeForce RTX 2080 Ti Founders Edition for the GPU. The motherboard is an Asus Maximus 11 formula, packed with 32GB of G-Skill Trident 3200MHz RAM, a 500GB XPG NVMe storage, an 850W Republic of Gamers Thor PSU. To keep the temperatures low, we used heat killer products on our water cooling. And last but not least, the Cooler Master SL600 for the chassis. All right, Jesse, it looks awesome, but let's go see how well it performs. All right, so let's kick it off with 3D Mark like usual. And not even overclocked, it scored an incredible 12,829 points, which means that it's more than capable of gaming in 4K. So let's check out some games. In a not so demanding game on full detail in 4K, Counter-Strike stayed around a healthy 200 to 230 frames per second, even with my less than average skill. Over in Call of Duty Modern Warfare at 4K with everything on Ultra and with ray tracing on, we stayed around 80 to 90 frames per second even with heavy effects on the screen. In Dota 2 at 4K on the highest settings, we stayed around the 120 frames per second cap, only dipping maybe 5 frames during big fights with lots of effects on the screen. And lastly, over in Forza Horizon 4, we stayed at a locked 60 FPS at 4K with everything set on Ultra. As expected, it performs just as well as it looks. Now let's go see what Asa thinks of it. All right, you ready? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, all right, three, two, one. What? I did not expect this much detail. No way, you got my tag in there. I love this, the kind of laser engraved. Yeah. That is beautiful. 
on the water cooling as well. I've always wanted a water cooled PC. Yeah, <laughs> no, this is fully water cooled now. Man, that is a beautiful case as well. This is a happy day for me. It was kind of what I expected in some ways because I've been chatting with Nvidia and we kind of found a zone that we wanted to go in with all the Neon Genesis themes, which is my favorite anime. But all the details they managed to get in there were insane. The plug suit that had all the little chest pieces coming down and then the color palette from the actual Nerve computers, which is all the interior. It was a lot to take in. I'm excited to finally be able to crank up those frames, put everything on Ultra, Call of Duty, get RTX on, which just looks fantastic. It's exciting. It's an exciting time. Be sure to check out season two of Sex Education available on Netflix, and thanks to ASUS for making this build possible. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button down below, and we'll see you for the next one.